Hi, I'm Wonderbelly, and you suck at bass. But what is the job of the bass in music anyway? Sure, it feels good when it vibrates Uncle Joe's special parts, but what role does it play in a song? Well, if you ask me, bass has three different jobs. Rhythm, harmony, and melody. Bass is a rhythmic instrument because it plays off the drums, specifically the kick. The kick and bass play off each other to form the groove or low end of the track. Bass is also a harmonic instrument because it supports the chords on top, usually by playing the root note of whatever chord is currently happening. And finally, bass is a melodic instrument. It can either be the main melody of the song or play little melodic licks in between chords. So what makes bass unique is that it's at the intersection of rhythm, harmony, and melody. It's the sweet, delicious glue that holds the pieces of the band together. So now that we know the different jobs of bass, let's write some funky, fresh disco bass lines. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so check it. Let's start by getting a funky, fresh bass sound. To do this, let's go over to the pack section and make sure you have the guitar and bass pack downloaded. Let's open it up, go to sounds, bass, and get the electric bass.adg and drag it to a new track. Now that we have a funky, fresh bass sound, how do we get started writing our bass lines? Well, one of the things we talked about was that bass plays off the drums, specifically the kick. So if we take a listen to my intro drums clip here, we can take what we have, copy it, Command C, and paste it over to the electric bass track, Command V, and see how it feels. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sounds like Humpty Dumpty has colon cancer. We can't work with that, we gotta get disco. So let's shorten this, make a one bar loop here. And let's zoom in on these notes and get rid of these the cancer tumors on top. Okay, that's better. Let's right click and hit crop clip just to get rid of all that other gunk. Okay, right now all the notes are on C, C for colon cancer, that's depressing. Let's move them up to A. Okay, that's better. But right now the rhythm is super boring, it's exactly the same as the kick. Let's avoid the strong beats where the kick is hitting, one, two, three, four, and move some of these bass notes deliberately on weak spots. This is called syncopation, and it's the key to making our bass lines funky fresh. So let's take the second A, maybe first I'll change the grid size to 16th notes, take the second A, move it to the left, then just move some of these off the grid here. Maybe add some A's at the end there and lower the velocity of these to walk up to the first A. Now it's quite common for funk bassists to take a combination of uppers and downers before their performances. This explains why they move up and down octaves so profusely. So to match this, what we're going to do is take some of these A's, whichever ones you want, hold down shift and press the up arrow key to put them up an octave. Okay, that's sick. This bass line's bumping for our intro. Now let's duplicate it by hitting Command D. And let's color this one orange to match the uh, sequin dress Sally's wearing tonight at Studio 54. And take a listen to my next set of drums here. So I'm adding the hat loop and the jingle jangle. And we want to sort of match that higher energy we have in the drums with our new bass line. So what I'm going to do here is hit duplicate to make the bass line twice as long. And now I'd like to move some of these bass notes up and down some more. Now before we do, we have to pick a scale for our bass line to be in. A scale is a grouping of notes that when played together has a particular emotion or vibe. We can set the scale we want to be in by clicking on scale over on the left side. Notice that certain notes are highlighted in the MIDI clip. Now, all of our notes seem to be centered around A here, so let's set the root note of our scale to A. And we have a fuck ton of scales to choose from. P log tembunk, what the? Speak English, Ableton. Okay, everybody knows that 90% of all music ever is in the minor scale, so let's just do A minor, which is thankfully just the white keys from A to A. Keep it nice and simple. Now that we know what scale we're in, we're gonna highlight the first half here. Let's just pick some other note to start things out on. Uh, I don't know, let's do D just for fun. And take a listen. Zoom 
down a bit. Okay, that's sick. Now, I wanna walk up to that A, you know, all sex you like, so let's take these Ds and just shift them up to create this staircase motion. Notice that this G sharp is not in the scale. Don't tell Prance Connors about that. I'll never hear the end of it, okay? When you're moving up in this staircase fashion, this is called chromatic motion, and it works regardless of what scale you're in. Now let's do that same chromatic motion at the end. I'll take these A's, push them down, and create that motion up to this D at the beginning. Awesome. Pretty happy with that. Let's hit duplicate, make it twice as long again. And I'll take all these notes in the second half and move them up to F starting off. Okay, that's super sexy. Let's take these staircases and move them up for that one and down for the first one. Okay, that's sick. And just a little bit of icing on the cake. Let's take these C's at the end there. And just to switch up the pattern here at the end, I'm just going to move them down to G. And congratulations, you successfully ripped off Dua Lipa. Wowzers. Okay, that's amazing. But we have this whole other drums clip to contend with. Holy shit. Okay, here the energy's going crazy, and listen, I don't want to just rip off Dua Lipa for the rest of my life. I want to do something original for crying out loud. So let's color code this new bass clip red to match the rest of the drums, and let's maybe come up with a completely new musical idea here, a B section, if you will. We still want it to feel like we're in the same key of A minor as we did before, but maybe have a different rhythm, different contour, different feel. So let's start with the rhythm here. I'll stick with A just to start with, A1, but I'll go for a completely different rhythm to begin with. Let's hear it. Okay, that's pretty sick. Maybe get some long notes in there, that's something new. Okay, highlight all these, maybe lower the velocity just a bit and do it a bit more at the end, just like we did with the first two clips. Okay, that's delicious. Oh, I feel the uppers kicking in. Let's go ahead and take some of these A's and put them up an octave. Oh, wowzers. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that as our beginning rhythm. Let's hit duplicate to make this twice as long. Now, I'd like to walk my way up to that A, but over a longer period of time, take our sweet time here. Don't want to be creepy, so let's highlight all these notes. And let's start with, uh, I don't know, let's start with E here. And I want to sort of gradually work my way up to A here, so I'm just going to take, I don't know, this long E, change it to an F. Push these up to F as well. And take these A's and put them down to G. Okay, wowzers. Let's take that high A, put them down to G as well. Oh, sexy. Let's do that chromatic motion halfway through. Okay. Now this feels like an equally dope, but also distinct musical idea in which A, the note, still feels like home. So let's hear A to B. Okay, okay, dual leap of ripoff. That's fine, but check this out. Oh, shit. We're in the club now. And finally, we have our green drums. Looks like this is the end of the night where I'm spewing green liquid out of my mouth. Let's maybe duplicate the previous bass loop. We'll call this one green. And here we want the energy to sort of go down to match the drums here. So let's take a listen. Maybe really simplify uh, bar two here. Extend that F maybe a bit. Okay. Pull it out. That's delicious. Oh, wowzers. So now we have four different bass lines at different energy levels that match our drums. And, and you know what? This is taken back. It was a simple, 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 simple. Disco was all the rage, rage, rage. Oh, sexy. Thanks for watching.
stay tuned for the next episode in which esteemed jazz professor Prance Connors delivers a guest lecture on how picking the right scale for your bass lines can completely change the vibe of your song. I'm Underbelly. Have a great day. We'll be right back.